wonderful happened when the Lord saved me. Something wonderful happened when the Lord saved me. Don't you just love those little choruses? This is a great testimony chorus written by Sidney Cox way back in 1951. Been singing it all of my life and appreciating the personal value of having a testimony and one that's uh, enthusiastic, exuberant, exciting, that will catch people's attention and, and uh, hopefully uh, get them to consider the claims of Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. This is uh, our devotional time from the shepherd to the sheep. So thankful that you joined us today. And the passage of Scripture that speaks about that transformation that took place when Jesus Christ came into the life is found in Ephesians chapter 2. It speaks of this as a quickening, coming to life, because our spiritual life was dead previously. It says in verse 1, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. That's the reason for our spiritual deadness. Wherein in time past ye walked or lived had a pattern of living according to the course of this world, the world system, according to the prince of the power of the air, that's Satan, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So uh, he's having his wicked way uh, with unsaved people, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past. In other words, we, we were living their same lifestyle in the lusts of our flesh. Those are desires outside of the will of God, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. <laughs> but then it says, God, who is rich in mercy, with his great love, what did he do? He, he loved us, and he saved us, and he changed us. And something wonderful happened when the Lord saved us. Do you have a testimony like that today? Then share it with others. And if you haven't got a testimony like that, and if you're not sure that you're saved, then right now is your opportunity to be saved the Bible way. Won't you join me? Let's bow our head and close our eyes. And right now, just you and the Lord, won't you pray to Him from your heart something like this? Dear God, I admit that I'm a lost sinner and I need a Savior. And right now, I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Did you pray that prayer? Did you mean it? I hope so. Let us know. We want to help you. And those of you that have not been sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in your personal testimony, begin today to do that. Tell the folks around you. Uh, have an exciting testimony to give. And right now, if you're looking to the Lord for some special need, we want to join in prayer together. Lord, you've told us that if we would agree as touching anything, it would be done. So right now we agree with our brothers and sisters who are praying and earnestly asking you for that healing or for that supply, for that repair of that relationship, of that circumstance or situation that needs fixing in their life. Lord, would you, would you bring it about so that it will bring glory to yourself, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. All right, let's sing it. Something wonderful happened. When the Lord saved me, praise the Lord. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.